Hey, what's up? How you doing? This video is a topic near and dear to my heart and not in a good way. In this video, I'm going to be talking about general education classes in college and why I hate them and think they're a scam. This is all just my opinion, so I'm just going to throw that out there. So if you disagree with me here, sorry. And this might get a little bit ranty, but I'm going to also use logic. So hopefully it's not just me complaining and it is actually a logical argument against gen ed classes. So let's just begin. First off, what is a general education class? I'm glad you asked. Basically, they are just the core fundamental classes that you had to take in elementary, middle, and high school. Like English, history, science, math, all those things. But in college, I guess depending on your university or just depending on your major, other courses can be added into those as well, such as like humanities and that kind of stuff. A lot of the times, general education classes don't actually have anything to do with your major or your minor. It's literally just classes that the university is requiring you to take. According to a website called Unbound, 42 to 60 semester-based credit hours are devoted strictly to your gen ed classes. That's at least, I believe, in America. I don't know about in other places, but for most American universities, between 42 and 60 hours is just given up to your general education classes, which is anywhere from a third to a half of an entire degree. So think about that. A third to a half of your degree is strictly based off of credits that you're taking that are required by the state and have nothing to do with your major and your minor. And to sum up my opinions on that matter, that sucks. And I'm gonna tell you why I think that. First off, I am a video and film major and I have a double minor in journalism and writing. And I have 41 hours required for general education classes, yet only 36 hours for my major. Now understandably, I also have two minors, so that's also more hours based on my minors, but just compared to my major, I have to take more gen ed classes than I'm actually taking in my major. So let's just take a look-see at my requirements for my gen ed classes, shall we? I have to take nine hours or three classes of communications. Two of them have to be English classes. I have to take six hours of history, which is two classes, and I don't really get any options between my history classes. I'm pretty much stuck to the three ones that are available at my university. I have to take nine hours of humanities, which is three classes, and one of them has to be an English class, so that's three English classes already that I'm having to take. Thankfully, I only had to take three hours of math, which is just one class, but still that was three hours too many. Eight hours of natural science, which is two classes plus two labs, and six hours of social and behavioral sciences, which is two classes. I will still be taking gen ed classes when I'm a first semester junior, and call me crazy, but I just don't like that. <laughs> None of the classes in the categories that I just listed off to you have anything to do with my major or my minors besides kind of English that has to do with my writing minor, but even still, most of the English classes that I took were literature-based or reading-based, and reading old literature does not really help my ability to write a new story, so still I wouldn't have taken it if it wasn't required of me. And having have taken all of my English classes, I can say that they did not help me at all with my writing or with my skills that are needed in my major or my minors. And that seems to be the case with pretty much all of them. I am paying to go to my university and I am only in college for the sole fact that I want to get better at what I'm interested in and I want to be able to get a good job once I leave college by showing them my degree and my skill set of things that I learned while I was at college. So. The fact that I can do basic college math, which I actually can't because I didn't learn anything in that class, does not actually help my skill set at all. It's just a class I'm having to pay for and waste my time in that I don't actually need. The fact that I now know random little trivia facts about dance history or theater history doesn't help me. I'm having to take a psychology class next semester when psychology has absolutely nothing to do with anything that I want to study. It's just a behavioral science credit that I have to have. Some people probably really like learning different types of things. Being required to take core classes doesn't really affect them because they're fine with it. They did it in high school, they liked it, they're fine with doing it in college. Why can't they just choose to do it? And why are you making all of us that don't like it and don't want it and don't want to pay for it or waste our time in it, why do we have to do it? Why is it required? I'm not saying don't offer gen ed classes. I'm just saying don't require all of us to take so many. I did take a few classes, dual enrollment in my high school, so I came into college with a few credits out of the way. But let's just say that I didn't. At my university, in my major, if I was to just take all of my gen ed classes at once and get them out of the way, 
that would take about three semesters. Three semesters! Do you know how much money someone could save if they didn't have to take those three extra semesters? I'll tell you how much they could save. At MTSU, the price per year as an independent on-campus student is $23,698. Now, of course, a lot of people get scholarships or financial aid, but again, just assuming that you couldn't get any of that stuff. That's the number that you're gonna be paying per year. So using my amazing math skills, I'm gonna figure out how much that would be for three semesters. Just kidding, I'm not using my math skills, I'm using a calculator. Funny how much I needed that class. Okay, so for three semesters, that student will be paying $35,500. $147. That's a lot of money for something that is state regulated that they don't need for their education, but they're forced to take. And I have a problem with the fact that people are forced to pay that much money for something that they don't want and won't actually help them in the future, yet the system has screwed us into basically having to get a college education for most jobs that people want, but then requiring us to go for four years and to pay so much more than we need to just so that we can take these stupid gen ed classes. Here's an idea for you, education system of America. Why not make it a common thing to have more trade schools or to have just more opportunities for people to go to school for however long they need to, to learn what they want to learn, to give them skills to get a job that they want to get instead of giving them unnecessary skills that they don't want, they didn't ask for, yet they're forced to take just to give you more money and to keep us at your universities longer. They're keeping us there longer so that we can keep paying more tuition, paying for housing if you're still living on campus, paying for food or meal plans on campus, or buying things in their bookstore, being around campus more and around the university more so we're more likely to give more money to them. That's what they're doing because universities are businesses. And I get that, we're in a capitalist economy. I'm not one of those people that thinks education should be free. I'm not trying to push that message because nothing is actually truly free. I get that, I understand. You still have to pay through taxes and stuff. I'm not trying to go down that road. I'm simply trying to say that they should require less gen ed classes. I'm fine with paying for college, but I don't think it should be as expensive as it is. And I think general education courses are one of the main reasons that college is so expensive for so many people because it's making you stay so much longer than you actually need to be there. If you're going in to college knowing what you want to major in, knowing what you want to minor in, knowing what you want to do, or at least having a general idea, I don't think you should have to take classes that don't pertain to that whatsoever. But, like I said at the beginning, this is all just my opinion, so well, let's just look at the reasons that universities say they require general education classes, just so we can have a different point of view over here and I can rebuttal it. Okay, so I found some reasons on this Best Value Schools website, and they're pretty much the reasons that you always hear about, so I'll read them off. Colleges have several reasons for acquiring general education courses. First, many students have uncovered a hidden passion for a field of study as a result of taking a required course. After enjoying a class, you might find yourself minoring or even majoring in a topic you would have never considered. Okay, understandable. But like I just said, if you already know what you want to do, why do you have to do that? If you're coming into a university with an undecided major, I totally get why you would want to take general education classes and why the university would want to force those on you because you don't know what you want to do. So they're giving you a lot of different options, a lot of different routes that you can take because you're not sure, you're tasting everything, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and then you can figure out what you want to do, hopefully based off of that. So okay, I understand it for undecided majors, but why make the rest of us do it? Second, required courses ensure that every college graduate has the same basic set of tools. Colleges want you to graduate with strong analytical and writing skills plus a basic understanding of modern society. General education courses such as chemistry majors can communicate via writing and English majors understand the scientific method. Alright, cool. I get that. But, like I said previously, this is all basically just relearning things that you already learned in high school. Literally K through 12 is teaching you that stuff. In my eyes, that's just like paying to get refreshers on the stuff that you already learned. I don't want to pay for refreshers. Those are some expensive refreshers. I get why people think that by having everyone take generally the same type of general education classes, you're sort of making sure that all graduates have some sort of general basis of understanding that they're graduating with. So that you know as an employer, if you are hiring somebody that has graduated with a bachelor's degree, that they have a general basis of math, science, history, English, humanities, blah blah blah, all that stuff. But I would hope that anybody that went to college already had a basic understanding of that because of high school. And on top of that, I don't know if this is just me, this is sort of the people that I know and talk 
talk about this with, but when it comes to stuff that we don't wanna actually learn, we're just being forced to learn it, people memorize it and they know it for the time that they're in that class so that they can do well in the tests, do well in the papers, and then once that class is over, all of that seems like useless knowledge to you and you just forget it. Do you wanna know how much I remember from my math class that I took my freshman year? Literally nothing, and I'm not exaggerating when I say literally, nothing. That can't just be me and the people that I know. I feel like that has to be a pretty common theme with people. If you're being forced to take a class to fill your head with knowledge you don't care about, you are going to push that knowledge out because it's taking up too much space in your brain for other stuff that you could be putting in there that actually will help you with your learning and your career and your skill set that you want for the job that you want. I don't really like school in the traditional sense. I don't like math, science, history, English, and all that stuff. I like what I do. I like journalism. Journalism. I like writing, I like film and video and all of those different things that I'm learning. I like those classes. I like my major and minor classes. I like learning new stuff and new skills that I know are going to benefit me in the future and I feel like I'm getting my money's worth because I know it's gonna help me get a job. I don't like spending my money on classes that I'm told I have to just because the state requires it. And I don't know why anybody would like doing that. But this is obviously a big problem with me as a film and video major because none of the core classes really help me. But if you're somebody like a pre-med student where biology and math and that kind of stuff is important to you, I totally understand why gen ed classes probably wouldn't be a big deal for you because half the ones you have to take, you would need to take for your major anyway. I get that. But pre-med students are still having to take English and stuff that you're probably not gonna need that much. I personally would not care if my my doctor was not well-rounded in literature, but uh, apparently universities care. Well, at least they care about their bank accounts and uh, making them take literature classes expands their bank accounts, so of course they're gonna care. Maybe I'm just cynical about all this and only in my eyes does it seem like a money grab and maybe universities are just well-meaning. I doubt that, but maybe they are. One last point that I want to throw out here is if you're not good at core classes, yet you're good in other things, like if you are good at video and film, but you're not that strong of a mathematician or a scientist or a writer or whatever, if you're not very good in those subjects and you thought all you had to do was make it through high school, that was gonna be the hardest part. Now once you get to college, it's gonna be fine because you're gonna be learning and doing what you're good at. And you gotta think again because you gotta get through so many more classes of stuff that you're not good at. And that's a lot of extra unnecessary stress and could even bring down your grade point unnecessarily because you're just not good at those classes, but you're great in the ones that have to do with what you're interested in and what you're in school to learn in the first place. I am in school to study video and film journalism. Why do I have to take these other classes and spend so much money on these other classes and spend three extra semesters at this university? Why? Because the state tells me I have to, that's why. That's not a good enough reason for me. So in conclusion, with all of this, I think that gen ed courses are a scam. I think universities are businesses that care more about your money than they actually care about you getting a decent job and education and going out into the world and bettering it. I think they just care about the money, and I don't think that's really much of a stretch for anybody to come to that conclusion. Gen ed classes take up too much time, too much money, and they can cause unnecessary stress and an unnecessary decrease in people's GPAs. Pretty much all gen ed classes do is give you a semester-long refresher of what you learned in high school. We pay for our college educations. I mean, of course, there are gonna be people out there that get full rides and it probably doesn't matter as much to them, but for the majority of students, they are paying for their college education. So technically, doesn't that make us a paying customer? Shouldn't I get to make my schedule of my classes what I want, not what the school and the state wants from me? I understand having advisors give you helpful nudges on what they think would help you and better your education, but not these strict requirements. I am paying for this. Why are you telling me what I have to do when it's my money? And the worst part of all this, in my opinion, is the fact that the system has screwed us all into having to get a college education because most jobs now require it. So it's not like I'm just complaining about this, but then someone can say, well, then just don't go to college if you don't want that. I have to, because if I want a decent job, you need a college education. So you have to shell out all of this money just so that you can get a job, which whatever, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with furthering your education so that you can be better at your job. I'm not fine with having to spend so much time and money on classes that will not help you in your job. 
If you made it this far into listening into my rant, good for you. This has always been a topic that I feel very strongly about and so I just thought that I'd make a video about it and you can disagree with me or think I'm just a whiner or whatever, but honestly, I think that it's a legitimate problem and I could be alone in thinking that, but I feel like I'm not. I feel like there have to be other people out there that agree with me. So if you do, you can give this video a like or you can subscribe to me. I put out new videos every single Friday. Thanks for listening. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.